I saw a shuttle launch when I was in elementary school, and I thought, I really want to fly that. And that's where it began. He is a Navy commander, a naval aviator, and a test pilot. He was selected as an astronaut in 2013. This is his first space flight, introducing NASA astronaut Victor Glover. First and foremost, I'm just grateful to God and to my family. To work and live in space is just a humbling and amazing blessing in and of itself. This is a test pilot's dream. Flying has been such an important part of my professional life, and I love to do it. 64,000 feet, that's the highest up I've ever been above the ground. And so to get to a point beyond that, um, that'll be a little special moment. I'm a rookie astronaut, I'm the pilot, and I'm gonna be learning the ropes from a very experienced crew. Trying to balance that, enjoying and living in the moment, but also managing the responsibilities to make sure that we get to space safely. I'm looking forward to that uh, juxtaposition of emotion, I think. Tell me about how you ended up here. I think for every astronaut, that's, uh, that's kind of a different story. Ooh, wow, that goes way back. So high school, athlete, um, loved being a part of a small high-performing team, wrestling and football. I was fortunate to wrestle in college while pursuing my engineering education. I actually originally wanted to be a Navy SEAL. That's what started my journey in the Navy, and I wound up deciding to go into aviation and learn to fly. The love of flying and being a part of a small, very specialized, high-performing team that gets to do things in really interesting and challenging environments. The astronaut corps is the epitome of that. This is truly an exciting time for uh, human spaceflight our nation. And believe me, it's only gonna get better as we charge off into the future. We've been working with our partner SpaceX for years. It's, been, it's just been amazing to learn about the vehicle, um, and to just spend time getting to know their flight control team and their trainers. It's creating sort of a new culture that is some kind of a balance between the two. The fact that it takes thousands of people all over the world to get us ready, it's humbling and overwhelming, and I, I wanna do my best because I represent them. So thank you for your support and for your love, and know that you're flying with us on Crew One.